Let's look at DDR byline matching strobes in CR8000 design force. What is DDR byline? DDR byline usually is the D cube, uh, which is the separate areas or separate directions people designing for memories. So strobes usually as a control signals for those. So these are need to be delay or length matching. Let's look at the PCB design. These are A bits DQs and another set the another A bits DQ controlled by uh, DQS0 and the DQS1, which is a differential pair. Let's make the screw group with the DQS0 and the first A bits. So you select and select the base signals, give the name. Okay, let's do the another set, another 8 bits with the DQS1. Right click, new school group. You define the from where to where and where is the base, which is the DQS1. name click OK okay now they have the screw group with the DQS and the DQs as two of them we also need to do a two DQS as a screw group so we can match the DQS together so we have two things and we make the DQS zero as a base so if you click it you can see the automatically set up a differential pair Give the name. Yeah, it's listed. Close the dialog. Okay, we gotta look at the school group. So school group, you highlight the whole, all school group. You can find out that the constraints you can uh, set for those school groups. So for example, relative length stiff. So we can add the constraints inside constraint broader. You can add a different uh, constraints uh, for each different school group if you want to. Okay, we gotta use those to drive the DF length and tool to optimize the routing length. So we select and then we click lengthen. Yeah, it does change. And then we go back to check the constraint browser to see how that works. So you can find out the all red thing that's disappeared, which is all matches inside uh, between the minimum and the maximum. So it's done properly.